The first Maserati MC20 Cielo Spider is here. Yes, the convertible version of the MC20 Supercar. First look, and we have a new color. We have a over $360,000 price tag. Let's talk about what makes this so hot, exclusive, and expensive. What's good guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I'm glad I'm in a tank top today. It is burning up here with a 106 plus index in Central Florida, but I have something that's way hotter than me right now behind me. You saw the thumbnail and the title. The MC20 Cielo is finally here. Yes, the convertible version of the Maserati MC20 Supercar and it has a beautiful spec. We gotta show this off because this is our first drop top. A lot of cool technology, a lot of new things. And if you love the MC20 Coupe or Coupe, well, you're definitely gonna love the drop top. So with that said, let's get right to it. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure you check out my boy, Janiel here at Maserati Central Florida. Just in case you guys are trying to get into one of these MC20 Cielos, check his information down in the description below if you guys want one of these beautiful rides. So here we are, guys and beautiful Grigio Incognito. This is the first time we're seeing Grigio Incognito on the channel because it's a newer color for 2023. So here we are with the first drop top with the first Grigio Incognito paint. Now we'll break down all of the options and specs and prices at the end of the video, but I'm gonna kind of explain my best to you on what we have here in front of us and what's different from the MC20 Coupe because not a lot has changed, but Obviously, I wanted to start with the top off because that's why you came to see this car. You came to see it as a convertible form. All right, so let's do a walk around because this thing is option out to the extreme. The MC20 Cielo. You can see the tag right there on the hood. I want to say hood because this is a mid-engine supercar, right? So there's a big difference there when we get to, you know, back around talking about that. But right up front, let's start with anything we see that's different from the normal MC20 Coupe. Nothing, right? It's still beautiful. Still have your LED headlamps. You still have your Maserati insignia. You still have your big Maserati Trident up front. And you have the carbon fiber body kit. So you can see the carbon fiber front bumper, really. It's not even a front lip. The front bumper, basically, is done in carbon fiber all the way around. That looks premium and that price is premium which we'll talk about because yeah it's just under just under forty thousand dollars for the carbon fiber kit insane right all right so then you have on your hood a little bit of airflow to go on each side the nostrils as i like to say all right so that's for airflow not for cooling because remember the engine is in the rear coming along the side you got 20 inch wheels and blue brumbo brake calipers with white script the impressive part about this is you have carbon ceramic brakes. These rotors are $10,000 and these are racing rotors. You can take this thing on the track and you can be completely comfortable with doing so. So yeah, we're, we, got, we got a spec right here on us guys. Coming along the side, you will see the MC20 logo. You will also see, again, part of that carbon fiber body kit, the whole side of the car is carbon all right so that weave looks phenomenal in the florida sun and gloss carbon coming along to the top on the c pillar you will see the maserati trident done in aluminum flavor looks really good against the grigio and then you will see cooling here all right for extraction and cooling but more cooling because the airflow is coming this way here all right and that's going to help cool down your the tuno engine that's in the back here now this is a little bit tricky because normally we're used to you know the lexon glass with the trident this etched in we don't have that for this model here because we have a removable roof so we do have this yellow badge but no actual glass with the trident to be able to see the twin turbo v6 in the tuno engine what we do have are extractors you can see horizontally on each side here and right here on this side, as well as this side, extractors. And that is going to extract heat, all right? So that's for cooling. You have a carbon fiber wing here that's not part of that carbon fiber package. So yes, you're paying extra for this. That's a big price too, we'll talk about it at the end. I'm gonna save it. And then 
the Maserati Insignia, the tail lamps, full LEDs, we'll see illuminated in a moment, and it's full carbon fiber rear. All the way up to this camera, this camera covering is even carbon fiber, guys. All the way through in that gloss carbon look. Now we also have black exhaust tips. Not something we're used to seeing on the MC20s, right? And with the sharp fin on the rear diffuser, this looks good. Check out this spec, guys, for the MC20 Cielo. I mean, just take it all in. If you love the MC20, again, you're gonna love it without a roof. That's for sure. And walking around this spec, I'm hope I'm proving it to you right now. The Cielo commands premium fuel. And as you guys can see, we press the door there. It's a little different than what we have on the MC20 Coupe because the fuel door is up here. This one's a little bit different, opens different. It's actually really large how it opens. And obviously premium fuel, 18, 15, 25, 18 combined seating highway. All right, 15 city, 25 highway again for the drop top MC20. Now for the Cielo itself, we're looking at dimensions of 183.8 inches in length. We have 85.7 inches in width from the side mirrors and 48.2 inches in the height. And the wheelbase, 106.3 inches long. Now the Cielo only weighs 143 more pounds than the hardtop version, but that makes it still below 3,500 pounds. So when it comes to the rear cargo space, you have a trunk and a front like the MC20 Coupe. But as you guys can see, well, again, you can't see the engine necessarily from here and you have a little lip over the top there. So yeah, now it's the same space. So that helps, right? I mean, what you really use, lose is the engine bay. So for your trunk capacity, you're looking at 3.53 cubic feet of space back here, which is good and plenty when it comes to stowing, you know, bags or anything that you would use, book bag or golf bags inside of the MC20 truck. Now in the front, a little less space, 1.76 cubic feet of space. And with that said, just covering up your documents and your, you know, uh, <laughs> tire and flake kit, anything you might need here. Um, I think this is the first aid kit, might be the tire and flake kit. Haven't really ripped it open. You also have a 12 volt DC charger there as well. And yeah, that's basically the front. Now the front is pretty cool because you have forged carbon, as you guys can see, but you also have dry carbon in that section there. So it's cool to have both forged carbon covering and then underneath the actual hood being dry carbon fiber. How cool is that? But yeah, that's cargo for the MC20 Cielo. Now normally when I'm talking about performance, I'm talking about the engine bay and showing off the beautiful Natuno twin turbo V6 engine. But again, for this yellow, you do not have that. You have a heat shield and that's it. I had to actually let that up for the convertible top to come up in order to show you guys what's underneath there. That's the only way I can open this up. So I want to give you somewhat of a gist of what this looks like and point at something while I talk about performance. That's all you got. With that said, same exact performance from the MC20 Cielo as the MC20 Coupe. That means twin turbo, three liter V6 Natuno, all right, 621 horsepower out of this rear wheel drive with a zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds and a top speed of 202 miles per hour. That's pretty dope, right? You don't really lose much. And again, it's, you know, only a hundred plus pounds difference between the weight, even with this heavy mechanical glass roof going back into the trunk space. So it's really cool how Maserati was able to still get the same performance out of a drop top as a coupe and add as little weight as possible. Kudos to Maserati for that. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel because when you subscribe, it helps grow the channel and get more opportunities to get more beautiful cars like this Maserati MC20 Sky behind me here today. Now I have the top up because I wanted to show you guys what it looked like with the top up, of course. So we have the gloss black roof, as you guys can see, and that is glass up top. Again, that polymer dispersed liquid crystal glass that goes from transparent to opaque. 
in a matter of seconds. I will show that off in just a moment when we get inside. But again, I wanted to show you how the hard top convertible looks because soft top convertibles aren't the same. Hard tops, they, they give off a different feel to them when they are closed. It almost looks better than a regular coupe. So with that said, coming inside, of course we have our Maserati doors. I mean, come on, supercar doors, dihedral doors, carbon fiber forged in the door paneling, obviously. We got a carbon fiber monocoque, all right. Alcantara with the Grigio stitching going throughout, 12 speaker Sonos Faber sound system as well. All the good stuff you guys are used to. MC20 badge right there in aluminum as well. And then inside you'll see the leather bucket seats with the Grigio stitching, Grigio Trident as well to go with the same flare here. You have Alcantara, you have carbon fiber, you have aluminum, you have leather, all the good stuff here in the steering wheel with the big paddle shifters here, column mounted, blue start stop button, new for 2023. You can also see the rounded buttons for lighting controls, also new for 2023. Big aluminum pedals like the Gran Turismo's. All right, you have our electric parking brake under there and our trunk release with our sorry trunk sorry trunk release with our front release right under there for the front all right now the part you've been waiting for is actually going inside of this thing let's check out the new technology for this yellow hopping inside it's kind of graceful right pull down the door with the strap there put on the brake and she started up now there's a couple of things you guys are going to want to know, right? There's a couple of new things for the Cielo that's in the inside. One new thing for all 2023 MC20s is the digital drive mode selector. So as you guys can see, we can go from wet to GT to sport. And if I hold it to the right a little bit longer, it takes a second to get the Corsa because it turns off your traction. They want to make sure you're doing that on purpose. All right, gives you your open valves for your exhaust and you get more throttle response. You get everything that's just ready to go. Driver assistance is gone. Your tack changes here and the speedo shows the RPM rev limiter up there. In course and mode, it's just a different feel and flavor. And keep in mind, you do have launch control here too. Probably pretty good to use in, uh, you know, Corsa because the fact that your traction control is off <laughs> and that's, this beautiful dash here and gauges. I mean, look at that. You can go from hard to mid. If I'm in GT mode or sport mode, I can go from mid to soft for my dampers. So again, it's really cool how you can use this thing. It's very intuitive for this big carbon fiber central tunnel. Drive mode selector, drive manual, reverse, my window controls here and my lock button there and my radio controls. And then back here, you can see the very thin armrest with a cup holder right here and a shelf with more speakers. Now you guys know this Uconnect 5 system very well, all right? This is in a lot of FCA products and Maserati has had it since 2021. What you don't know is when you go to vehicle, you have a couple of different extra, you know, features for the Cielo, all right? So not only do you have the screen off button or the mirror dimmer, all right? You also have the Cielo button. What does that do? Well, it's exactly what you guys think. It changes the polymer dispersed liquid crystal roof from opaque to transparent, just like that. Check that out, I'm pressing the button and it literally blocks out the light. How cool is that? Since you're forced to have this glass roof, you don't necessarily, you know, you're not necessarily forced to have it shining straight through. So it's really cool to do that. Now, here's the big one. Spider. Well, you know what? Let's go to rear view camera real quick just up so you guys can see. That's our rear view camera. That's all we got for the Cielo, given the fact that it is a convertible. We do not have, you know, anything extra. We do have also the actual video feed for the rear view. So you can either do the regular, you know, visible or that video feed there. So a lot better. Spider. 12 seconds. That's it. To go up and down, to go from a coupe to a convertible. Roof to no roof, 12 seconds, and you can do it up to 30 miles per hour. All right, so let's try it out. Here's the thing. You go into Spider, and you can lower the glass in the rear, 
Now, as you guys can see, it's down. Now, if I hold the up arrow, now it's gonna raise it. So it's all done through the screen. That's the same for the roof. This is how you let up and down the roof. Now, I wish they would have had up and down arrows for this, but it's letting the roof back and bringing the roof forward. So, we're gonna let the roof back. And again, 12 seconds. I gotta hold this the whole time though. So, let me hold this arrow and we're gonna count to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, that's a that's a decent twelve, and it gives you a little chime, a little beep, a little ding dong to let you know that your roof is down. So that's it, guys. Now it's a pain that you have to hold it, but it's just to make sure you want to do it and to do it safely. Um, instead of accidentally pressing it in the rain or anything like that. Um, I would have loved physical controls instead of the screen, but everything's done through screens these days, so I get it. But 12 seconds, you can't complain. And now, look at this, guys. We have the roof down in a Maserati. It's been a long time since the 2019 Grand Cabrio or Gran Turismo convertible that we can let down a roof in a Maserati. And here we are, letting in a lot of the natural light and just enjoying the car how it should be enjoyed hearing the twin turbo v6 and the tuno engine and getting the best out of this car this is what we've been waiting on it's yellow the spider the convertible the drop top i i mean listen i love this i love that you can do this and it looks so cool look at that guys it's so cool to have this yellow here man this is awesome to have the roof down i know that I've kind of skipped over a lot of this other stuff. There's a couple of things I've skipped over. You guys have seen a lot of the MC20 videos, so you know what's going on here. Really, I wanted to show off the convertible, how it worked. And, of course, we got to put it back up, all right? So we can't just do it once. we got to do it twice. So we brought it back. Let's bring it forward. By pressing the button, you see the animation there, letting you know what we're doing. So you can see, roof is coming on, glass roof. 12 seconds, right? That's it. Now, it seems like it goes a lot faster on that 12 second count when you go up. The reason being is because it doesn't put up the windows for you. You have to do that on your own. So now that I put the windows up, it's complete. But when I have to let the car roof down, I have to actually press it and it lets the windows down. So I think that's where it may be like a 13 second roof down 12 second up that's just that's me being nitpicky again it's just safety reasons if you don't want the top to close and the windows to go up right away then don't worry about it you won't have to but if you want to let the windows up right away you just put them up yourself there's nothing else to it that's it so let's take a look at what this mc20 cielo looks like fully illuminated in the grigio incognito paint as you guys can see switchback leds and LED headlamps. Over on the side, we will have the turn indicator. And then in the rear, the LED tails flashing and illuminated there. Looks really good, right? What do you guys think? So now I have to break down the price of the new MC20 Cielo in Grigio Incognito with Nero and Grigio Interior. Now the MSRP it starts at $260,000. That means it's $30,000 more than the coupe in 2023. In 2023, the hard top starts at $230,000. So to have that roof drop, you're gonna need to pay an extra 30 grand. Now, after the options we got on this thing, well, we're looking at a total price of $336,395 after the $36.95 destination and $300 preparation delivery. What are we looking at? What makes it so much more expensive? Well, look at that, guys. We have the carbon ceramic brakes, $10,000. The electronic limited slip differential, $2,300. The spoiler and carbon fiber, $5,500. You also have the high premium sound system at $4,000. The electric steering column at $1,000. The stitch trident headrest, $900. The exterior carbon fiber package, $39,000. For the front bumper, the back bumper, and side skirts. You also have 20 inch Corsair Forge glossy dark wheels, $7,000. You have the upgraded leather and Alcantara kit, $1,000. The blue brake calipers, $1,200. And the heated front seats at $500. Those are some big options, guys. And then this is what the MC20 Cielo comes with 
standard all right so this is everything that you get for two hundred and thirty thousand dollars or sorry two hundred and sixty thousand dollars as opposed to the 360 or 336 we're at right now guys i can't get my numbers right so this is two hundred and sixty thousand dollars right here make sure you guys pause zoom in do whatever you need to do to get all of that in so you guys can see exactly what you're going to pay standard for a drop top mc20 you guys think about the mc20 cielo does it meet all expectations 12 seconds down for the roof 30 miles per hour polymer dispersed liquid crystal glass i mean this thing is so awesome and again if you love the mc20 hardtop you're gonna love the convertible hardtop right so if you guys did want to help further support the channel always check the links down in the description below we have a one-time link donation for my paypal cash app venmo and my patreon just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel appreciate that extra love guys you guys can also check out the ron's rise merch as i have on here today and if you guys want to you know follow the social media links do that as well now subscribe to the channel but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video and with that said you guys be blessed have a great day and we will talk to you guys in the next ron's rise video peace